Hello friends, welcome to Mega's cooking channel. Today I'm going to make South Indian's most favorite, the amazing rasam. It is very good for digestion. That is why most people prefer this one during lunch or dinner. I love the tangy flavor that comes from the tamarind and there are different types of rasam. Today I'm going to prepare tomato rasam. So let's know the ingredients to prepare tomato rasam. To prepare tomato rasam, you need two tomatoes which I have cut into cubes. 1 tablespoon of whole peppercorns, 1 tablespoon of cumin seeds, 1 small lime sized tamarind, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of asafoetida, 6 to 7 cloves of garlic, 1 stem of curry leaves, 1 fourth cup of finely chopped cilantro, 3 flat skin dry red chilies, 2 tablespoons of oil, and salt to taste. First, take 2 cups of water in a saucepan and add in the tomato cubes and tamarind. Now, with the lid on, bring it to boil. Once it is boiling, switch off the flame. Here I have transferred the boiled water to a bowl and I have added 2 cups of cold water to the hot tomatoes so that it will be easier for me to mash the tomatoes as it will cool down. Mash the tomatoes and tamarind well. Once it is done, keep it aside. Add whole peppercorns and cumin seeds to a mortar and pestle. Now crush them coarsely and once it is done, transfer it to a bowl. Now add in the garlic cloves and crush it roughly. Now transfer the garlic to the same bowl as well. Add about 2 tablespoons of oil into a saucepan and add in the asafoetida. Now add the mustard seeds and once the mustard seeds crackle, add the curry leaves and the crushed peppercorns, cumin seeds, crushed garlic and dry red chilies. Saute them for about 30 to 40 seconds. Now add in the tomato and tamarind water. and add some salt to taste. When the rasam is about to boil, switch off the flame and finish it by adding finely chopped coriander leaves. Now transfer it to a soup bowl and the South India's most famous tomato rasam is ready to serve. So here is my tomato rasam ready. You can drink this one like a soup or you can just eat it with rice. So here I have some rice. I'm gonna just taste it. Mm. It is tangy, spicy and absolutely fantastic. Do try this at home and let me know the comments. Also subscribe to my channel for such simple and quick recipes. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.